Tonight, no rules, no mercy. Two legends collide, and only one will walk out victorious. Who dared steal me treasure? I'll have your head, ye scurvy dog. Good morning, folks. It's 5 a.m. Let's kick off the day with some slow jams. Do I hear 50? 50, uh, 50 going once. Oh, um, no, wait, 45? Anyone? Going twice? I made those four voices in a new, cheap AI voice generator. But the emotions that were added to the voices were added automatically by the AI. Other voice generators I've tested on this channel don't add the correct emotions. And I waste a ton of time manually typing in which emotions are needed. So if the automatic emotion adding in today's voice generator actually works correctly every time, this could be a huge time saver. So in this video, we'll find out how well it actually works. So you can decide if you want to keep using other voice generators like 11 labs or switch over to this new one instead. So what's the name of this new AI voice generator? Well, it's created by this company called Hume. This is their website. There's a link to it in the description to this video. And as we can see here, right at the top of their website, they claim that you can create AI voices that understand emotional expression. And if we scroll down, we can see that their AI voice generator is called Octave. And this is what's interesting. Rather than being a traditional text-to-speech generator, it's actually a voice-based large language model. So they're saying that means that Octave actually understands what words mean. So when I first saw that, I didn't know what a large language model was and why that's meant to be better than a text-to-speech model. But here's the best way I can now explain that. Imagine you've got two robots who can read books. Robot 1, which is the traditional text-to-speech robot, can say all the words correctly, but it doesn't understand what they mean. So when the story gets scary or funny, the robot just sounds the same the whole time. Then you've got Robot 2, which is Octave's large language model. This robot actually understands the story. So when there's a scary part, the robot sounds scared. And when there's a joke, the robot sounds like it's telling a joke. So Hume is saying here that Octave being different, being a large language model, gives it an advantage over other text-to-speech apps. And as we can see on their website, they claim that 71% of people favor Octave's audio quality and 51% say it sounds more natural than Eleven Labs. So let's jump into Hume and check out some of their voices. We'll start by looking at their standard voices. We're inside Hume now, and the best place to explore everything is in this playground area over here on the top left. So we'll click into that. And we're going to press select voice over here to check out the voices. And as we can see here with these options at the top, we've got the featured voices and the Hume voice library. And also we've got my voices, which are the previous voices I've made in the past. You might recognize the Nervous Auctioneer, the sleepy radio DJ, uh, and even the pirate from the intro that I've made previously. But we'll jump into the featured voices to see some of Hume's top already created voices. And let's check some of these out. Here we've got a TikTok influencer. So like, I'm obsessed with this new skirt I got. It's giving major vintage vibes, but with a modern twist. You know, I think it's perfect for summer. Let's have a listen to the inspiring man. Love is the greatest gift. And through kindness, we find our salvation in each other. And finally, let's check out Campfire Narrator over here. Well, gather round, friends, and let me spin you a yarn that'll warm your heart and tickle your funny bone. All at the same time. I like that. Kind of entrancing, isn't it? So as you can see from the featured voices and the voice library, we've got tons of voices in here pre-made that we can choose from. A really good selection for getting us started. And I'm going to select this TikTok fashion influencer to show you something even cooler. So let's choose her now. And as you can see here over in the top right, that voice has been selected. And I can get the TikTok influencer voice to say this sentence that I've just typed out. But the sentence is a little bit dry and tone deaf. Let's generate that sentence and you'll see what I mean. Hello, everybody. I have some of the latest clothes here from all of the local stores in the area. I am going to try them all on in this video so that you can see which ones you like. So as you would have heard there, the chosen voice said what I typed, but 
because I'm not a fashion influencer myself, the sentence here that I've typed doesn't really sound like a natural sentence an influencer would say. And that's where this great feature down here comes into play, enhanced text. What this feature does is it recognizes which character you've chosen, like which voice you've chosen, and it will convert anything you type into a more naturally sounding script that's more authentic to the chosen character. So remember what that sentence says here, and we're just going to impress enhanced text, and this sentence will change before your eyes to match the chosen character. So let's do that now. And there we go. That sentence has now completely changed. They've added like in there in the middle of the sentence, a change going to to gonna, and change that formal hello to hey, just to sound more authentic to the chosen character. So let's generate this now and see what this improved version sounds like. Hey, everybody. So I've got some of the latest clothes here, like from all the local stores. I'm going to try them all on in this video so you can see which ones you like. So instantly from that single click of that enhanced text, we now have a generated sentence that sounds so much more authentic to the voice we've chosen. And you can do that with any voice that you select inside Octave, which really impressed me. But that's just the start of it. Let me show you what you can do when you create your own custom voices inside Octave. Cool, so to create a custom voice inside the playground area, we click on change here to get rid of the featured voice we just chose. And we're going to go over to this button here, create voice. And we see this voice creation screen where we can type up here at the top, the text that we want our generated voice to say. And we also have the opportunity to type in this voice prompt down here where we describe what the voice should sound like. So let's play with this now. So here's the sentence I want our voice to say. Today's weather will be partly cloudy with temperatures around 70 degrees. Clearly something a weather person would say on like the radio or the TV. And we now obviously head down here to the voice prompt area to describe the type of voice we want. And what I love about this is rather than spending minutes typing out here, like a word by word description of what you want the voice to sound like, we can actually just hit auto generate to automatically have a new voice imagined and described for us. Let me show you what I mean. I'll just click this now. Here we go. Almost instantly, this was added to the voice prompt. The speaker has the reassuring and respected voice of a national weather service announcer with a clear and articulate style. So you may have noticed there, the description is for a national weather service announcer. And that's not a coincidence. Octave has understood what has been said in the script that we want spoken, realized who is likely to say this, a weather service announcer, as the script is about today's weather, and it's created a voice from what it thinks a weather service announcer would sound like, reassuring and respected with a clear and articulate style. That saved us so much time. And now I can just press generate samples down here. And that's just going to take a few seconds to generate some voices for us. And look at that, after less than 10 seconds, we now have these three potential voices down here for us to choose from. So let's have a listen through and see if we like any of them. Today's weather will be partly cloudy with temperatures around 70 degrees. That was a great start. I like that already, but let's listen to the other two. Today's weather will be partly cloudy with temperatures around 70 degrees. And let's try one more. Today's weather will be partly cloudy with temperatures around 70 degrees. I love them all. I think this first one was my favorite, but just to show you that that wasn't a fluke, let's go up and generate another voice. So I'm going to change the script to this one. You're listening to 103 FM, your station for local news updates throughout the day. And let's hit auto generate down here and see if the AI detects that this should be a radio presenter. So let's press that now. And look at that. It's detected that it should be a radio broadcaster and it's asked for the voice to have a fitting, smooth, authoritative, trusted voice. And we don't have to just have the voice that was suggested to us. We can customize it. So I can ask for this voice to have a British accent just by typing it in at the end here. And now if we generate some samples for this new voice, we have these three new potential voices generated. Let's have a listen. You're listening to 103.5 FM, your station for local news updates throughout the day. You're listening to 103.5 FM, your station for local news updates throughout the day. You're listening to 103.5 FM, your station for local news updates throughout the day. Again, all awesome. I like the third one the most, so we'll choose sample three. 
And all I have to do to save this custom voice is typing the name for my voice here and press save voice. And I'll be able to use this voice anytime I want in the future. So let's save that. And we can see that British radio presenter has been selected over here on the top right. So now you've seen how easy it is to create any voice you can imagine. Let's look at the AI's ability to understand and add emotions automatically. So I said at the start of the video that the AI is meant to be able to analyze any script that you type in like this line right here, understand what emotion is needed and automatically add that emotion into your script. But this is quite a neutral sentence, isn't it? There's not really any emotion attached to what's being said here. Let's just give it one more play so you can hear how neutral it is. You're listening to 103.5 FM, your station for local news updates throughout the day. So what we can do to really put Octave for its paces is we can get rid of this neutral sentence and we can use these buttons down here to have the AI generate sentences for us that have certain emotions attached to them. So let's try joy. The AI has generated this sentence for us and let's see what that sounds like. Life is beautiful, amazing, one just wants to hug everyone. Every single moment feels magical, as though the whole world is sparkling with possibility and wonder. That guy sounds pretty joyous. Let's try anger. Oh, coming from you, that's rich. I can't believe the nerve lecturing me about responsibility. After everything you've done, you have absolutely zero right to take that tone with me. That's an angry radio presenter. Now let's try sarcasm to finish this off. Oh, yes. Because clearly, I've nothing better to do than fix your mistakes again. It's not as if I have my own deadlines or responsibilities. This is just perfect, isn't it? Wow, how snarky. So as you've seen there, we've been able to create a custom voice from our imagination. And now depending on what we've written in the script, the AI has tried to understand what emotions are attached to those words and added those emotions automatically, whether it's joy, anger, or sarcasm. The idea behind that automation could be a huge time saver in voice generation. Let me know what you think of the results so far in the comments. Now I'm going to play a series of samples from other tests I did of other voices that were created paired with different emotions just so you can have a listen through and see what you think to them. The house feels so empty now. I keep expecting to hear his footsteps in the hallway. It's been two months, but I still can't believe he's gone. She's not answering her phone. It's been three hours and she should have been back by now. After 20 years of searching, I finally found the truth. The man I've been hunting is my father. I just booked a one-way ticket to Paris. I'm starting my dream job in two weeks. I'm terrified and excited, and I couldn't believe this is actually happening. Look who finally learned how to use the washing machine. Should we alert the media? Mark it on the calendar? This is truly a historic moment. Attention all passengers. Due to engine issues, prepare for emergency landing. Remain seated with seat belts fastened. Brace positions will be demonstrated now. So let's look at the pricing for Hume's AI voice generator. Over here on the website, we can see that you can actually get started for free using Octave. That gives you 10,000 characters of text to speech per month. That's around 10 minutes of generated speech and also unlimited custom voices for free. Seems like a great way to get started for me. And then you'll see after that how cheap Octave begins at. The starter begins at just $3 a month for 30 minutes of text speech, and we go up in price from there. So a really cheap new AI voice generator. And like I said, you can start using it for free by clicking the link in the description to this video. Getting introduced to this tool has got me really excited in the direction text to speech is going. I was just really happy playing with this tool and seeing the direction things are going in. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're looking for more AI tools and apps that you can use to create content quicker, you've got to watch this video next. It's like the most popular video on my channel right now. Really good place to start. And uh, yeah, obviously subscribe to this channel too, and I'll see you very soon.